Hello viewer, come on in and welcome to 54A. Right then, viewer, I've been uh, messing around with these sea urchin shells. Very delicate, very pretty. I'll tell you about them in a minute. First of all, a shout out. David the Walsall Woodturner. He's pretty new to YouTube, he's only done a, a few videos, three or four I think, but he's got some great ideas and I'm going to have to nick one or two of them, you know me. So uh, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel below and pop along, give him a thumbs up and maybe you subscribe to his channel. So that's that David the Walsall Woodturner. Next, these urchins, um, I basically got the idea from Cindy Drozder, American woodturner. Most of you probably know her work, she's brilliant, especially on finials. She does some amazing work. And she done some urchins a while ago, a few years ago now. And I've always had it at the back of my mind that I would like to have a play with them. So I ordered a few anyway. <coughs> And uh, as I say, they're quite delicate. So the first thing you've got to do when you get them, get yourself some PVA and a brush and coat the inside. You can get in through the holes, all right, hole each end. And uh, give a good couple of coats at least of PVA. It strengthens them up tremendously. If they do happen to break, they usually break down the seams, little dots and what have you. So they're quite easy to actually glue back together with some PVA tight bond. Um, I know from experience because I did actually break one. <laughs> the next thing, I made myself a little cone. This is down to Cindy Drozder again. A little cone with some sandpaper on, fits in the chuck. And then you can sand the holes perfectly round. Make them a bit bigger if necessary. And being a cone, it'll do all the sizes. So I have to do make one of those. But that's no problem. Now I've done a few and I've cobbled together a bit of a video just to show you me turning some finials and <coughs> quite a bit quite a bit of turning hardly any talking but uh, I'll put that on in a minute and you'll see different ones you know it's all sort of cobbled together really uh, but me doing a few um, finials and little bases and uh, so I'll let you watch that and then I'll show you some finished products
This is the first one that I finished and uh, all I've done is polish that finial and base and uh, left it quite plain but isn't it lovely I'm so chuffed with that there's lovely pale lilacs in the actual shell you can get all different types you get really sort of knobbly ones and white ones some with a bit more colour on and uh, I love that little ornament. This is the next one I've done, sort of in reverse, and um, I've stained it purple because it picks up the purpley mauve in this actual shell. And I super glued a little wire hook right in the top and just suspended it on a bit of wire, and uh, I think that looks brilliant as well I'm really pleased with that one as well the next one I did this is a really a white one and I put an air plant in it get these from any garden centre you only need to spray them with a little bit of water now and again there's no actual root system to them and I did a green base a very pale green base on it quite wide because it's, it's a much bigger shell than the other ones but uh, Sheila's already commandeered this one. Yep, so there you go. Things to do with sea urchin shells. So that's about it. Um, <clears throat> it's the first time I've been in the shed for ages. Been touring around in the motorhome. And um, it's been so hot, just too hot to come in the workshop and do anything. So uh, it was great to get back to it, mind you, the state of the place now, what a mess after doing all this lot. Still not to worry, it's one thing about wood turning, you don't have to get a mess, you can't do it clean. <laughs> so I shall put a couple of links below, say to David the Walsall wood turner and Cindy Drose's channel as well, if you want to go and have a look at her work, it's brilliant. Um, and I've still got three more shells left so I should probably have a play with those maybe some different colours there's nothing stopping you actually colouring the shell uh, that's it viewer thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon for the next one bye now